Chris Peranto gets revenge on Valerie after Roseanne loses show by that conservative girl entertainment news for madworldnews.com. Uh, in the wake of the controversy surrounding Roseanne Barr, Chris Peranto, a former Army Ranger and military contractor who survived the Benghazi terrorist attack, seems uh, to uh, have gotten the perfect revenge on Valerie Jarrett after Roseanne lost her hit show. On Tuesday, Roseanne Barr's pro-Trump comedy was canceled after she uh, released a tweet comparing Valerie Jarrett to Planet of the Apes. Fans of Roseanne and her show, uh, even those who didn't agree with her tweet, were uh, stunned when ABC was so quick to give her the boot. After all, others had said much worse and gone on to enjoy lucrative television deals. Isn't that nice? Isn't it double standard? ABC has pulled the plug on the uh, revival of Roseanne uh, because of her tweet. We all know that. While uh, those on the left have applauded ABC's move, claiming a racist was exposed and dealt with in the appropriate fashion, Chris Peranto, a former Army Ranger and military contractor, uh, were repeating that, believes something else. He was exposed... Uh, in the ordeal, namely the media's double standard when it comes to what will be tolerated when it comes from conservative versus liberals. Peranto hammered ABC for canceling Roseanne's pro-Trump comedy, tweeting, The liberalist hypocrisy is crumbling. Real racists are in the corrupt DNC and Hollywood elites. The patriots of this great nation are are no longer fooled. So the more you try to hold on, the more people slip through your fingers. Th that was very well said. Hats off to Chris Peranto's tweet there. Uh, the Benghazi survivor took particular objection to the fact that the nasty jokes do not even begin to compare to nasty actions like the ones Jarrett was responsible for during the time she was an aide to former President Barack Obama. Peranto provided a list of Jarrett's most egregious offenses, demonstrating the glaring difference between reprehensible actions and reprehensible words. Rosie's tweet against Valerie Jarrett is not bigger than one Valerie supporting the Muslim Brotherhood terrorists, two, cutting deals with Iran along with Barack Obama, and three, one of the big eight in the USG who turned Libya into a failed state, all causing countless deaths, he tweeted at ABC Network. Jarrett's history of supporting uh, terrorist nations has been well documented in tw 2015 Judicial Watch release documents exposing her family's ties to communism and the Muslim Brotherhood. It's uh, been well documented that Valerie Jarrett, a Chicago lawyer and longtime Obama confidant, is a liberal extremist who wields tremendous power in the White House. The organization reported, faithful to her roots, she still has connections to many communist and extremist groups, including the Muslim Brotherhood. Furthermore, in 2012, an Israeli newspaper reported that Jared had, on multiple occasions, held secret talks with Iranian leaders, including representative of Supreme Leader Ayatollah, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei uh, in 2013. Uh, the Times of Israel also reported that Obama's closest advisors had held secret talks with Iran. The administration would eventually cut a nuclear deal with the Islamic regime, which included pallets of cash for the terror harboring nation. And, of course, Jared helped Hillary Clinton choreograph the regime change in Libya after Muammar Gaddafi was ousted, leaving the country in an extremely unstable condition and handing Obama what he defined as his worst mistake. Compare an odd-looking liberal politician 
to a character from a movie and you're liable to lose your career. Meanwhile, as long as you're a Democrat, you can literally be responsible for what it says there of innocent Americans and still be lauded a hero. This is a sickening reality when you really think about it. Chris Peranto is chillingly correct. Roseanne Barr's dumb comments resulted in hurt feelings, but Valerie Jarrett's dumb action resulted in lives lost. What a big difference, right? Uh, I applaud Chris Peranto, and I hope that thing went to ABC. But ABC, they're shills, they're, 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 they're pro uh, the propaganda machines. That's what they use. So, so Valerie Jarrett, that was the reason that they canned her. And meanwhile, they, they talk about the president of the United States constantly, all these liberal uh, comedians and whatnot, and they can get away with everything. Yet if a conservative opens their mouth, it's a done deal. You're fired. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, it is really disgusting what this world has come to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.